Today, we tackle a month's worth of hauls. Stay tuned. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Moon Hill Vintage Homestead. It's your old crone, Yaya, back with another thrift haul. And this time, it's a month's worth from thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets. So, please enjoy. Let's start with a couple of bigger items. First, this white wicker basket, magazine rack, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it was so filthy, just caked in dirt and dust, and so I just brought it home and uh, hit it with the water hose. And now I'm going to repaint it. Probably we'll sell it in a, in a booth. I believe that wicker basket costs $4. And next for $5.99 at the thrift store, I got this um, vanity chair is what I would call it, which is in really pretty good shape. It's got a couple of uh, loose wires here that I'm sure I can get my husband to re-weld. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or turn it into a plant holder maybe outside. I will most likely definitely be painting it. Maybe. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? For $2.99, I got a wicker laundry basket. Very good size. Very sturdy. You can tell it's well made. And I love these. I remember growing up with these and they're, they just last a long time if you take good care of them. For $4.99, I got this metal colander strainer with the fruit motif enameled and I will probably clean this up and keep it a few more baskets to show you this is the mini version of the laundry basket this one was $1.99 excellent shape I love to use these as uh, planters this one I love because of the bark focuses in there. I just thought that was beautiful and very useful. Uh, $1.99 for this one. This one, someone painted black and they didn't do a very good job of it. So I guess they gave up. But it's really sturdy. Uh, let's see the price. $2.99 that had to come from the thrift store. So yeah, I'll be repainting this and maybe selling it. Last basket for a while. This is really huge. $4.99 <clears throat> price on this. Great, great harvest basket for the garden or put fresh cut flowers. Lay them across. Beautiful. And I picked up a couple at the thrift store of these, um, one was open, one was not, of these art canvases, only 99 cents a piece. And you know, even at Hobby Lobby on their, at half price, it's still a lot more than that. And my grandchildren love to do art projects, so these are for them. Next, for $4.99, I found this metal jewelry stand just adorable shaped like a tree and there's a squirrel on top and it's got a little dish at the bottom with two little squirrels I will probably uh, thinking about painting this white what do you guys think and I will most definitely sell it okay these next few items are from a goodwill trip Oh, there's a basket in here. Okay, for 99 cents. A little half basket to hang on the wall. I'd like to dress that up and sell it. Oh, got a new glue gun for $1.99. Okay, for 99 cents, I got this four pack of sloth coasters which I'll be giving to my daughter because she loves cloth. And 
Okay, and for $2.99, this was made in China. Okay, uh, it's just a little plaque since I'm Yaya. Yaya is a group of three or more women whose hearts and souls are joined together by laughter and tears shared through the glorious journey of life. I just thought that was awesome. I'm not crazy about the color, but I love what it reads. Uh, let's see, got hearts and flowers, embossing and stamp set by Apple Blossom. Those are really pretty. I have discovered, I know I'm late to this, but I have discovered junk journals. I just I don't know why. I just find it so soothing and calming to watch videos of people making or flipping through junk journals. And so I'm, I might give it a, you know, give it a try. So I've started to buy a few things. Also from Goodwill, this little made in Thailand umbrella, paper umbrella, which I thought it was just adorable for 99 cents. I'll definitely keep this. this stuff's been sitting around for weeks now so I forget what I buy and it's almost like I'm shopped again I just thought that was really pretty hold seven votives for $1.99 no chips and it looks vintage oh there was a pair of them I totally forgot about that so yeah $1.99 each next is probably three different times I went to our local thrift store that I love. So, I got a lot of stuff in there. Saved up. <laughs> okay, for $2.99. And this is from Yankee Candle and originally priced $14.99, but I'm going to be keeping this. I'm going to clean it up really nicely. Somebody tried to paint it. It feels like chalk paint. And they only got up to this section then left the rest of it so i'm going to repaint it and i'm going to use it in um for when i list small items to give them a little height boost little tin uh what's on there flowered plants butterflies black lacquer well, I don't know if you'd call this black lacquer. It's by Elite, made in England, 99 cents. Cute little picture. Uh, this is Royal Dalton. The pattern is called Florinda. Nice size creamer. Uh, I love the um, flower motif on there. It's very 80s country. Okay. okay, let's see. Why is it not? There we go. My workshop mug. Don't mess with it. This is marked 1980. Another mug. This one is Otagiri. Let's see. Get in there. Can you focus, please? Okay. Sweet little Santa bear. Their mugs are three for 99 cents. Another Christmas cup, this mug. This is, um, I cannot pronounce that. It's definitely, the bottom reads West Germany, but this I do not want to even attempt. It's hand painted, Santa on both sides. Santa with his sack. So cute. All right, next up is another vintage votive candle holder. 
solid glass. This costs $2.99 and it weighs almost five pounds. So we've got five slots for the candles. Ugh. I'll have to put this in a booth because at that weight, oh my goodness, the shipping would be outrageous. All right, we have a metal wall pocket for $1.99. I love that shape, like a half umbrella. Um, I would leave it as is, but it's got so much scuffing and stuff. Maybe I should try to sell it as is, and then if not, um, repaint it, redecorate it. These two things will definitely be painted and or decorated, or both. $1.99 each, these metal plates, chargers. They're not marked. And they may have already been painted at one time. Really cute project. Okay, so let me apologize for the background noise. I have my window air conditioner and my box fan going because it is so hot in here. It's been getting up to almost 100 degrees here lately and it's really hot out in the shed. So I apologize for the noise. Okay, um, found this Valance floral with, looks like Asian inspired pottery on it. Which I'll be keeping this for a project. Oh, how much did I pay for this? $2.99. Also, this country kitchen curtain with the adorable chickens and rooster on it and a little border like that on the back. So cute. What's this one? Where are you? 99 cents. And then here's the, the lamps that came with it, or balance. So sorry. I do not see the price on this, but I believe it was 99 cents as well. And here's some fabric. For $1.99. This um, feels kind of like upholstery fabric. I just love the, the colors and that motif. Um, it's very vintage. I haven't measured it. I'm not sure how much that is. We already twice. A little more fabric here. It's very thick and uh, can probably make a Good table runner. If you didn't have other little projects. Well, that's at least a yard, uh, probably 36 wide. And this was $1.99. Really cute farmhouse country. Like. <laughs> $3.99. That lovely vintage green color. Wait, is it marked? No. But, you know, um, who knows? Shawnee, maybe. $0.99 cents by Centennial dish here. I don't know if you call it a candy dish. Really dirty. I'm not sure if you could see the emblems very well. Let's see if I can. Mm -hmm. They alternate. 70s amber color. Uh, $0.99. Cents. Next up for $2.99 is this metal candelabra holding five candles in a gold color. I don't believe it's brass. I believe it's just been painted gold. Pretty sure. 
so I will be repainting this and selling it. Okay, found some ribbon, 99 cents. That beautiful, beautiful satin color. And then 79, this remnant of, so you can see the sparkliness, it's beautiful. Uh, that's a wire ribbon. Some twine for 79 cents. Uh, actually, acrylic crochet thread. And this one you can tell is vintage. Um, <laughs> water repellent, that cracks me up. Acetate fused edge. 79 cents or quite a bit left. I know some people collect this type of thing, so I'll leave it as is and sell it. Um, these um, stone coasters. $1.99 set of four. They're heavy. That's at least, that's more than a pound, definitely. Oh, this is a set of four right here, but there's six of them in there and it's never been opened either. So that was mine. For $1.99, Le Jardin set of two square votive holders Oops. with this beautiful um, frosted glass with these really pretty dried flower scenes on the outside. I understand why that's not focusing. And so it came with the original box. So I thought that was nice. All right, let's see what we've got in our next bag from the thrift store. Oh, this beautiful, beautiful rose bowl, $4.99. I will be keeping this. Just so, so gorgeous. daughter Wakuna picked this out for her own uh, it's really dirty for her own uh, collection I guess you'd say dollar 99 isn't that beautiful mm, just reads made in Italy Yes, no markings. I believe this is Fostoria. I'll probably be keeping these. One more bag from the thrift store. First we have this little vintage snowman tree ornament. 99 cents. I don't know why he's rattling. Up here, okay. What was this? There's no price on here. I think it was probably 99. Uh, but they, they look so adorable. They're just so vintage looking. My hallmarks and address labels, lip stickers. Come on, focus. So, you know how far to go. Okay, whatever. Um, we also found, let's see. Oh. About to drop something, okay. All right, for $2.99, and I believe Wakuna's keeping this as well. She found this beautiful vase here. 
and I guess it is brass um, with some inlay on there. Beautiful colors. Really nice. Okay, and I found four ninety-nine cents. Record keeper. I think I always felt like forty fives fit better in these than albums. It's in really good shape too. Usually they're very rusty. All right, for a dollar forty nine each. I mean, I love the kitsch. Okay, these are so kitschy. If mother says no, ask grandma. When all else fails, ask grandpa. And I just love. The graphics on these, aren't they adorable? So in the bottom of the bag, I found the Mrs. Snowman to go with the Mr. These are not ornaments. They're actually salt and pepper shakers, 99 cents a piece. So they'll be added to my collection. Okay, so this next bag is from a yard sale. And I picked up this milk glass. Um, lamp topper. It's been hand painted with a few rosebuds on there. And I will, I do have several oil lamps. They all have toppers, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this just in case I need another one or maybe try to sell it. We'll see if there's any interest in it. <laughs> I found this tiny little cook pot, like serving for one. Got a little lid with it. Oh, it's it's just so filthy. And it's, um, all right, let's grab the glasses and see what this is. Priscilla Ware, which I'm not real big on pots and pans, uh, but I, I believe Priscilla Ware is sought after. Priscilla Ware speaks for itself, one quart. Okay. So, and I just gave him well, he just gave me one price on the things that I wanted, which I think turned out to be ten, ten dollars, maybe. Okay, still in box. This is a candy thermometer. Okay, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this correctly. Had it upside down, sorry. Um, it, you could tell it's been used, definitely. It's got some age and some wear to it on the handle there. I love that it came with the box. So I'll be selling that. Found this cute little plant stand. Look how tiny that is. Um, I'll be repainting this, definitely. I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it though. Okay, to also add to my salt and pepper collection, we have these four. I do know he said a uh, dollar per pair. Two of them are in a lot better condition than the other two. So one I'll keep and one I'll, I believe I will sell. And then lastly from that yard sale, still in package, 50 clothes pins vintage definitely hasn't even been opened I love these types of uh, clothes pins not only just use them but they make great crafts okay I found one more bag from the thrift store had a few glass pieces in there some other things um have another little pitcher creamer 99 cents Uh, this rose motif, I, I have uh, other things that have this exact same thing on it. Um, wall plaques and candle holders. Might sell it all together, maybe. This cute little kid's cup. I believe that's in French. And in fact, let me get my glasses. Hmm. $19.99 and everything is in French. So it might be Canadian. Maybe not. I don't know. 
I'll have to look up what that even reads. That little bear rocking horse. So cute. Okay, found this little mug here, Library Lover, which I don't know if I'll keep this for myself because I, I am truly a library lover. Okay, I found the pair, really heavy. What was the price on these? 99 cents a piece. Um, it's pressed glass. Very pretty. Um, they're really dirty and they're so heavy. I, I just, I'm just so debating on whether to keep these or not. And finally, these two I will be selling uh, when I pick them up and they're so heavy. I guarantee you they weigh probably at least two, three pounds a piece. Uh, these beautiful, these are actually Libby. Show you the bottom and there's they're so dirty and they've got gunk in the bottom so on that's why i think they were still there because nobody bothered to really hold it up to the light and look and see the l on the bottom for libby um, whenever i've had libby glasses no matter what they were they sold really quickly and at a really nice price all right folks that's it for today have a great day and i'll see you next